Paperless billing has become increasingly po more popular in recent years, but a lot of important letters and packages are still delivered by mail. Neighbors in one Southwest Side community are frustrated because they have not been able to have their mail delivered in months. They reached out to Fox Essays problem solver Darian Trotter for help. This is what's damaged. Linda Salazar has had enough. They broke into that. See how bad they are? She's completely over not being able to have important letters, bills and packages delivered at her mailbox. See, well, the whole thing just falls apart. It looks like they just yanked the whole lock out of there. When was the last time you received your mail in the box? I don't say about four months, four months ago. And she's not alone. Dozens of her neighbors aren't able to get their mail delivered either because the community mailbox has been vandalized by thieves. Mm -mm, nothing. Linda showed us how the boxes were pried open by thieves, apparently looking to steal checks and other personal information. They broke into our mailboxes. Linda is the caregiver for her adult son who has special needs. She's been waiting on checks and important guardianship paperwork from court. I don't even know where those papers are. Uh, they're probably lost somewhere. When asked, she says she and her neighbors were told it would take roughly eight months for the community mailbox to be repaired or replaced. I don't have eight months to wait. Until then, their mail is being held for pickup at the post office down the street. A spokeswoman for the Postal Service says safeguarding the security and sanctity of the mail is of paramount importance. Letter carriers will only deliver to boxes that are secure, safe, and in good condition. If I go to my mailbox... Linda misses the convenience of a secure mailbox. It's convenient. It's convenient for me to just walk over there and get my mail. Instead of going to the post office and standing in line for an hour and a half before I get to my turn. That's right. She's even documented her long wait with photos only to find out her mail wasn't ready for pickup after all. Our mail is being held hostage. Because she says on several occasions, see like I got this bill. Mail for her and her neighbors hadn't been sorted. I felt like saying, do I have to go back there and sort my own mail to get my own mail? We asked the Postal Service about sorting delays and were told the day's mail should be ready for pickup by 9 a.m. Linda says it was rarely sorted when she showed up at 11.30, just before noon. I had to go to the post office and stand in line for an hour and a half. Linda's pretty old school and still relies on receiving monthly paper bill reminders, bills from SAWS, CPS Energy among them. And if I didn't get it in time, then what? I'm gonna be late paying on my bills. And that's that's not right for me to be late just because they don't have anybody to sort my mail or the mail out. Fox SA has learned the purchase, installation, maintenance, repair, and replacement of mailboxes are the customer's responsibility. In this case, the homeowners association. It's not acceptable. That is not an acceptable, ex that's an excuse. Linda thinks the Postal Service should take the lead on what was, after all, a federal offense. The Postal Service did go on to tell the problem solver local postal officials have taken steps to address the situation and are in contact with the HOA. Until things are sorted out, Linda has sprung for a P.O. box. How does that hit your pockets? Well, I'm willing to pay for it if I get my mail, but I shouldn't have to. Well, after we got involved, neighbors tell us their expected months-long wait was significantly reduced. The cluster box was repaired in a matter of days, and the Postal Service apologized for any inconvenience customers experienced. I'm Fox SA's problem solver, Darian Trotter.